Attention bobsled riders, you will soon be embarking on a thrilling podcast down the icy slopes of the Matterhorn, so please remain seated keeping your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the bobsled at all times. Auf Wiedersehen! Hello Yodlers, we are the Matterhorn Yodlers, I am your host today Jackie and we have... Jesus! And... I'm Tiffany, I'm going shopping! <laughs> oh, Tiffany. Tiffany! I don't know who Tiffany is, that was <laughs> the first name that came to my mind. You know, Tiffany's a name where you're like, either you love the Tiffany right. or you hate them. I know a lot of great Tiffany's. And so you love them, yeah. but there's some Tiffany's where you're like, oh you're the villain. You know, like, <laughs> I'm saying that as I've got like my wrist on my hip, yeah. like, I hate Tiffany. <laughs> Are you at the water cooler right now? Oh like... boy, am I! I am. I am right across from a water cooler. I get all the gossip. Um, today we are going to be talking about Disney merchandise. What you look for? What we look for? Yeah, you know, because Disney plays really well into the merchandise. What world. at the end of the ride? I have to go through a store. What? <laughs> and so. I mean, that's almost like a fun task to do, like when you're at the parks, is just to look at the stores and to look at the merchandise. I go to other amusement parks and the merchandise is like, wah, wah, wah. like it's all the same. It's right. not that great. I, I like, because like we, we've gone to like Legoland. Yeah. And like, I mean, it's a store. It's a, it's a park built on, on the a toy. Store. Like, right. And I was so disappointed. I was all like, these gift shops suck. <laughs> I could go to the mall and and get yeah, this. Absolutely, there's nothing special to mm-hmm. like it's park exclusive. There, there's like a couple stuff, but not really like. And I think it's similar to Universal, other than Harry Potter World stuff, right? Because that's immersive. That's and, like, yeah. yeah. You're like and now Mario. So, yeah, the, Mario's the Mario. gonna be a, the new one. Um, and so, but I think Disney's just like lead dog in the merchandise game. And why do you think that is? I think it's just because they have the the stories, yeah, that we grew up and they've infused it into the park, and that's what sets them apart. It's it's a park built off of the Disney, you know, uh, movies and experience nostalgia's, and our chil- our childhood. Yeah, the nostalgia, nostalgia is huge, yes. especially with uh, the millennials. Yes, millennials, because they grew up with the 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 Renaissance, yep. mm-hmm. good Disney. Disney. When was the last time you saw Fox and the Hound like plushies? Like, nah, <laughs> nah. Sorry, Sarah. I know you. You wrote that like it's a tearjerker and and like, hey, I'm I'm Peach Peach Dragon. Got me when I was five. You know, with right. the tear. But yeah, sorry, that one didn't get me. So I I just don't. Yeah, you don't see from the the Dark Ages like Black Cauldron. Like, don't it's see a the, lot of that. No. Yeah. So it's sorry, true. Gen X, you got screwed when it comes to like Disney nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. I think nostalgia. I think quality played plays a good part into it, and variety of stuff. Like you've got different genres of Disney merchandise. Yeah, there's there's the cheap <laughs> stuff where your kids want it. Yeah. And you hate buying it, <laughs> yes. But you get it, and then you throw it away two months later because you stepped on it in the middle of night. You're later. so mad. Two, days. two weeks, two, two days, days later. later. I do that with McDonald's toys. My daughter's like, "Oh, it's fun," and it's like, and then I'll see it on the floor and like, "Goodbye." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one wants you. And then, uh, then you have like your park stuff. Yeah. You know, like for specifically that you can get there or plushies and stuff that like you could go to. You could have gotten at the Disney store. Yeah. And then there's like the next tier like the disney fan stuff yes that you're gonna be dropping mm-hmm. pretty penny or or you know like ooh, ooh, i'm going to see this on my bank account like yeah, yeah. and i'm not talking about like rich but like anybody. like the twenty five thousand dollar crystal uh castle yeah 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 ooh. we don't buy that we don't buy that <laughs> we look <laughs> at it i'm going we, oh no we joke about it <laughs> how much was the r2d2 i forgot how much the r2d2 oh, was. was and there was always the replica like Yoda for like ten thousand, right? Like twenty of, years of ago, the statue <laughs> of the statue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no one ever bought it. I'm surprised no one ever bought it. Uh, or maybe it was just custom, 
and then they sent it to the person. Maybe. Yeah, probably. It has to be custom. You mean that one guy that walks around the park with the Yoda <laughs> on all the rides? He's like, he's got the Yoda! Oh, it's amazing! Well, it's just like, if you buy, like, the Crystal Castle, I don't think they're going to let you carry it around the park. Oh, no. <laughs> if I'm rich, I'm on stupid money like that. Oh, yeah, I'm taking it on the space bound. <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, Shane, you balance this. <laughs> I oh think it's like speed indoor, and you're like throwing it around. The start right? Oh my god. <laughs> so we cannot. That is a. You're basically a claymore. You're like shooting fragmentations. People are coming out. They have like the shards in their face. Like this isn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> I just tell the crystal the, castles were never sold again. I just think of the again. scene in uh, Star Tours where uh, it's the the Naboo scene where you get eaten by the fish and it throws you side to side and just <laughs> <laughs> back and forth. All right, so let's first let's tangent it back. <laughs> Bobby Boucher. <laughs> All right, so Peter, you've gone to the park with your kids. Yeah, and your kids are in the store. What do they gravitate towards? Dalmatians. <laughs> Dalmatians. Uh, but like, as far as like, is it plushies? Is it oh Disney store food. level? Food. It's food. It's they candy. They like the candy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our kids are candy fiends. Uh, they're not necessarily How about Legos? Like, Your son loves Legos They do right like now. Legos a lot, but Disney doesn't really do Legos. Not that. in the park. They do not have their, the like in the, in the, yeah, the Pleasure Lego Island store. kind of, right. or Disney Island. What do they call it now? Downtown Disney. Downtown Disney. <laughs> Downtown Disney or <laughs> Disney, Disney Springs. Yes. <laughs> Disney Springs now. Disney Springs. <laughs> the place outside the park that sells the Legos. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they don't really get too much into merchandise per se. Like, if they do, it's like, oh, they want the bubble wand, mm-hmm. you know. Bubble wands are big with kids. I just throw away one. <laughs> I was like, ah, I don't need this one anymore. Right. And, yeah, because, like, you only use, they only use it in the park, and then it goes in your shelf, and then you forget to bring it. And then you move, and thing. then you're like, well, this thing's all gunked up now. Like, right. let's just get rid of it. Like, and Bentley, he actually does, my, my oldest, he gravitates towards the more expensive toys. So, so what? what's considered yeah, like, what's, what toys are those? So he wanted the spider bot that they sell at the Marvel. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That was huge when he got that. That was, he was really like, you could see the like twinkle in his oh, eye. Man. Like he got bribed to go on several rides he didn't want to go on to get that. This was before he realized he enjoyed those rides. Yes. Now There's always that fear of like, you got to coax them into doing yeah. things that they're mm-hmm. uncomfortable with. And so now he's obsessed with those rides, and he'll even try to be like, oh. "I went on this ride. Do I get something for no. it? No, because you enjoyed that ride. That's why you don't get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you already got your reward. It's a one-time deal, buddy. That's does it. Does he still play with the spider bot? He broke it, so oh. no. Okay. <laughs> but he he like when it was like he he would play with it, um, quite a bit. So. Uh, but yeah, he does gravitate towards the more expensive items, the expensive toys. Deep Whereas, down, do you know that they're just going to break or they're going to get lost? Oh, totally. Um, they're not like the wood, like metal guns yeah, that we la- that my, lasted forever. So like we, you know, my other son, he was offered, you could buy anything in the store. What are you going to get? And he pointed to, you know, those cheap foam swords. That's <laughs> what he wanted. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So... And I think they still have it. So it survived longer than the hey, $60. That's a win. Those things are huge Spider at Epcot. Bonds. They always have each country's got their own little sword right. yeah. or the axe and the shield. Yeah. That's big. I know Hera hasn't had much experience with the parks, but she goes to like we Target, go to, we go to Target, which has a lot of Disney merchandise. Is there anything like she gravitates toward? Um, right now it's the little people oh. and the Disney theme. Um, so we'll, she likes those. Uh, she, right now, we bribe her with um, like the $15 like baby doll princess, which she calls them um, pretty baby dolls. Aww. And so like every week she sleeps in her own bed because we're transitioning. We're moving from an apartment to a house. And like there's just been a lot of changes and trying to do potty training and, and stuff like that. You know, we use that where if you sleep in your bed for the whole week, we'll get you a fifteen dollar like toy. It's super cheap. Right. It's like it's worth it in the long run. It's like that's one lunch (laughs) eating downtown. Like that's not like okay, I I have to bring in a sack lunch. Okay, not a huge loss for me to, you know, like 
see my child get super excited over right. over this toy. So that's what she's really drawn towards. But yeah. it's princess right now. She's three. She's like pretty in pink. Little girl loves that stuff. Yeah. Um, Doc McStuffins. You know things that she can identify and play with. But the little people, we get the little castles. We go to Goodwill and we find yeah. great. You don't want to go to Disney Park to find no. good Disney like plushes, and you just got to clean them a little bit. Yeah. And they like, come out great. I like, remember going to Goodwill and finding like a plastic Millennial Falcon, and you're just like the the bigger one that oh, we had growing up. That's nuts yeah. because Goodwill Those. they siphon off all their disney stuff they do and they sell them online like they're on ebay yep. and those that's a great place to find older stuff that they don't even know what it's really worth they're mm -hmm. just like we've got it but we got to get rid of it and so they'll put it online so if you know what you're looking for it's like what ebay should be yeah before it was completely taken over by like you, greedy you can't merchandise trust, you like not trust ebay oh yeah it's like it says it's four hundred dollars you're like oh bro it's like it's That's really like it's a 350 worth. like oh whenever did like employees got different like a special oh, yeah. edition thing like pins or anything they would throw that on there and be like employee exclusive this is worth a thousand dollars and there's always a sucker that buys it. feeds these guys to think that this is an acceptable practice. Well, like, I was looking up, like, what are some, like, old popular, like, merchandise items that are, maybe are worth a lot of money. And the VHSs keep on coming up, which I Why? laugh at. But it's, like, the Black Diamond VHSs, which they Which have, one are the Black Diamond? Ones? They're, like, uh, the Little Mermaids. The so the one with the inappropriate art. The one yes. with the, like, the wiener for the castle. Yeah. <laughs> So that one's, yeah. And we actually like, have that. We actually found it at Goodwill. And Casey's like, I've got to buy this just in case. <laughs> no, it's so like trying to find the laser disc the of Little Song Mermaid. of the South. They're like, I found it. I've, I've broken the vault. <laughs> so according to this article, the Little Mermaid controversial cover is going for online. And of course, this is off of eBay, which you can't. And someone can't just photocopy it. You and can't like... just trust the numbers because people are outrageous on there. But for like over six thousand dollars that's stupid that's stupid. and that's it's just stupid. like i don't believe it you know i would go in there and just be peter's like, like i don't believe it this... on ebay <laughs> under peter's name. well no what i would do i would see that price and then i would put a thing on there, and there yeah this one's six thousand mine's only one thousand <laughs> well it's and the funny. guy you got a mean note from that guy's like you're undercutting me it's you're funny. taking money out of my because phone. like oh i went on ebay looking up different vhs's and there's some that are like worth like these list an extreme amount and then there's a one below it's like two dollars and 30 cents yeah, and yeah. has no bids you, you gotta be careful on ebay that place is a dangerous place if you got something specific you're looking for you gotta you, that's the long game you go yeah. you go you just you just sit there and you look for the good deal you window shop there and this one was sh i was shocked that this made it on any list but it was like the disney movie club of chicken little on vhs it was the last Disney movie to be released on VHS. Okay. And okay. so I guess, you know, it's going for $11,000. This is kind of like our generation. Like, yeah. remember when, like, all the old classic Nintendo and Atari mm -hmm. stuff went through the roof because that Generation X got money? Yeah. And they're like, I don't know what to do with this. And so, like, they bought that stuff. You know, from their childhood, yeah. the old Star Wars toys, right? Oh, yeah. Those from the '70s. Uh -huh. Those were like eight thousand dollars or sixty-four thousand for a Boba Fett with a different like rocket. You know, <laughs> yeah. you're like this is dumb. I think that is from that world, yeah. Where our generation has money, or some people. <laughs> let me go there. Some people <laughs> have some like, We we do not. <laughs> no, <laughs> we. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I'm almost 40, and I bought my first house. Like, I feel like I'm pretty normal for my that generation. That being said, please subscribe and please rate our podcast. <laughs> our Patreon. No, we don't have a Patreon. Well, we made nothing off of this. <laughs> We're not that good. Not yet. Uh, our GoFundMe. <laughs> but it's interesting to see what, in the, like, what past items are now, like, trying to be worth money today it's 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 the from what i remember with the star wars toys it was the things that like were like misprints yeah that made yeah. it super rare and that created that scarcity and that created value but 
random tapes that doesn't and I feel like Disney that's not sustainable it's like basketball cards you're like this card's worth 65,000 you're like it's paper <laughs> it's, it's a piece of card or, or you get like the vinyl well, it's Pokemon cards you know, like, or Pokemon cards Pokemon yeah cards. it's Huge. it's paper or that's plastic the pops that's plastic to look like your favorite character it doesn't even look like your character right it's plastic still. Just remember that. It's still plastic. So you have yeah. to look That's at these why, things like, when you get into the craze. Stop looking at Funko Pops. <laughs> I don't get it. I it's, don't get it's it. It's the the Beanie Babies. It it's is, the Beanie Babies. It's, it's, it's the, the Vinylmations. Thing. It's yes. the Pokemon and cards. I think Disney plays into that oh, they totally with merchandise. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and their it, blind bags are ridiculous. The what? Their oh, blind bags. Yes. Oh, my daughter's done a couple of those. And I'm like, okay, I, I could see it, but it's just like so or they're like the little blind bags where it's you buy disney merchandise to put in a disney store and i was like this is stupid yeah i think that's the kid can't even play too. it they're like these are small little hands for ant-man right and i'm like but they're in a package and i'm like a child can't even play it. it's what my child does it takes it out of the package and then like it's just this little like lego piece that yeah. you step on and you get mad at. right oh yes the worst yes and I mean, I don't blame Disney. It's smart to create. You gotta make money because I think they're trying to create, and it's always changing, constantly rotating to find that one niche like Funko Pops. And that happened outside, but the Disney like went along. They didn't fight yeah, it. No, oh, they they totally. Well, embraced and it. Funko Pop, I looked this up, is uh, also own Loungefly, which is yep huge, huge lately. The, the purses, those are the, the, the backpack purses. Okay. Oh, where people put their pins and stuff? No, no they're no, just no. Like, like you know how like like my wife she's got the dog one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like those the the back the lounge five backpacks. Oh, those. all right. So they're all owned by that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. And those are really popular. People collect them, and they're like popcorn buckets. Uh, and man, pop! Can we talk? Popcorn buckets are exclusive merchandise. They were. Yes. It was that a, that drives Disney fans. Yes, it was one of those things. That, like it was a cool idea at first, and now it's like okay, it's too much. It's, it's creating a counterculture where people are like, "I'm disgusted with what you're doing now." Yeah, I I've kind of like no. Nah. You I, like I you look it. down on people that are like. Do you look down on the people that stood in that line? For popcorn. Oh, for figment. For the, for I looked down on the people that stood in line for a candy cane. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't my choice. That was not my choice. I know, I know, I know. But no, the, I mean, the, fig- the craze like creates a movement that's not really logical. Oh yeah, like who would wait seven hours in line for a figment popcorn bucket? <laughs> not me. That is not how I want to spend my day at Disneyland. Well, it's for and, a piece you know, of plastic. That, that th- seems like that it's the Disney even, employee that works there. That, that you're can not do even that. going to use for its intended purpose. Yeah. There's that one person listeners like, hi, I mean, I'm going to take my box right now. What are you doing? I bought six I'm of them. So unsubscribe I now. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Sorry, man. Well, it's just <laughs> like, like and subscribe. <laughs> you know, Disney, I think, creates these like very like collect- collectible yeah, things. Yeah, of course. Right. And like they created the resellers. As much as Disney hates the resellers, Disney created They don't though. hate the resellers. They mm-hmm. don't. They no, don't because hate they them. buy up the merchandise. Exactly. <laughs> they, the only the they only reason the, the craze. Yeah. The only reason why you see them kind of pushing back on it is because they're getting so many complaints at City Hall that like somebody just walked off with the entire shelf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's got a big box yeah. with it too. <laughs> and they're like, "All right, fine. Two per customer." Two per member of the family. Yeah. And, and that's get, what it and was. And then you get like that weird kind of like guy that hangs out in front of like Barnes and Noble. It's like, hey, if I give you my credit card, can you buy this thing for me? You're like, well, people how do I know that's not stolen for the first place, <laughs> but they have a limitation. Come on, man. That's how they sound like. They're really scary. <laughs> 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 well, now they like, and you're starting to see this like in Japan and things like this. Now they're, because they have that rule, it's like only two per customer. Well, now they're bringing like, baby dolls and putting them in strollers and and disney counts that as as that so like Look at your baby right there. That. <laughs> <laughs> they literally will bring plastic babies into the park in strollers to get the merchandise yeah it's oh, yeah, ridiculous yeah, yeah. it's it's yeah you have to you have to pick your hobby and the things yes. that move and drive your heart yeah you know um 
Like for me, it's fairly simple. Like I like Star Wars stuff. You know, it's childhood. I love Indiana Jones. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> and then, you know, it's like like Haunted Mansion. Things like that I identify right. with. It's it's my expression. I worked at the Haunted Mansion. I, you know, I am identified. I was in a YouTube video for for it. You know, so I I, I I'm a butler and I'm like butler yeah. for life. Do you right. have that feeling like you're for a bellhop? For bellhop. Yeah. Bellhop for life. It's Always. just you know, like if I was a tattoo person, I probably would have like a haunted mansion kind of tattoo. I'd have an HTH. HTH. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're like, is that your initials? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Sure. And that that that's always the easiest way to avoid that conversation. You'd be like, yep, yep, it is. <laughs> What's right. it stand for? Hector. <laughs> <laughs> Hector Thomas Harrison. Where did Peter come from? <laughs> <laughs> My friends call me Peter. What? Yeah, <laughs> Hector Thomas Harrison. So, Jafet, so when you go to the parks, the the those fandoms that you mentioned, those are the things you look at I do. for merchandise. It, it, it's one of those things I look for um, with the Haunted Mansion. There was no store, old ride. And so you'd have to go into, like, New Orleans Square and... Even yeah. at Walt Disney World, they didn't have anything. They used to have, like, Mademoiselle... Or Madame, like cart. Madame Leota's cart. Yeah. And then you're just like... You have such a fandom here. Huge. And then Disney, like, we'll just put that here. And it was, like, sold out immediately. And then they're just, like, really? And then they ran with it. They yep. finally got someone they that knew it. They got a shop. And they it's finally... just huge. And I've loved it that it's grown. But there's a lot of junk. There is. Oh, so yeah. So I don't buy everything. I buy the stuff. I'm like, that's cool. It's realistic. It's something I would see on the ride, you know, the artwork that, you know, I, it's, it's good. It's not just like, oh, we're just putting this out here. Anyone? It's no. It's it's something that speaks to me that I'm willing to put on my wall, you know. And even if I'm not gonna put on my wall, I still look at it. I still go to look at the merchandise to kind of be a judge of like quality, yeah. You know, because I still identify like this still represents me, you know. And I want something good that's going out. I don't want cheap garbage. Like, right. going, here we go. Like, here's the thing that like we just mass produced. That's like rubbish. Like rubbish. For, it's like and for, it deters for people in the future. For Tower of Terror, it's like, oh, you want the Tower of Terror robe? No, not <laughs> no. really. <laughs> it's like some part of the ride. Now, if you're like one guy that gets to wear the robe on the ride, and you got to wear the robe, they would sell a million of those, but they didn't. So it's like you're our one. You got to sit in the first seat in the first row. You get to wear the magic robe. No, bro said it at the end of the day. You're like, what? What to wear this? It started white, and then it was brown. It's, it's like brown, so it's got mustard on. It. You're like, who is eating on this ride? <laughs> Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's how you sell merchandise. <laughs> that's true. Well, it's like uh, Harry Potter World. Like they have the an experience where you get chosen to get a wand, right? They have such a good cult. They like took it to the next level. They did. It's impressive. Disney did that with the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. Yes, that's the closest they can get to it. But I don't think they've met. Like no. Harry Potter Land is. Master, it's like it's, the, at the, its own little land. You just want the brief history of how we got Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique? Yeah, brief history. It all started with Disney on Ice. Mm. Okay. Yes. So, so uh, some like, new executive came who was put in charge of Disney on Ice, and he saw all these little girls that came with these homemade princess dresses. or like Halloween costumes or yeah. Halloween yeah. costumes or whatnot, and they're like, "Oh, really?" And so they're like. What if we start selling this? And then they they threw they started selling, you know, like a Cinderella dress, and they would sell out instantly. And then they're like, oh, and so they just escalated to the point where like, now it's got its own shop. Now we've got an entire princess land yeah. section of you know, Disneyland that's just dedicated to princesses. And the cast members greet them differently yes. yes it's it's like if you see a princess you feel like oh hello princess like yes. you treat them different than other kids because they dropped money oh big yeah. money my favorite thing to do was to see a princess that ate too much candy and it's three o'clock <laughs> and they're like Bleh! and you're just like <laughs> they got her wand and they're oh. like gloves and they're like no, the i puked and i'm all like <laughs> yes you did one. princess the bubble one so it's all broken so yeah. it's all melt bubbles all down their arm and or they've got like, the candy all over yeah. the face I'm like, I'm a princess. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite thing to see seeing a hangover princess, it was it was basically. just a princess that had partied too hard at the disney party 
parks, yeah. eating the cotton but, candy. I mean, it's great to see in the park is the princess. They are so dressing. happy. Oh, they are. It's and so cute. That's why I want to avoid it till my child's twelve. <laughs> no, I I look that's one of the things I look for. We look at the princess dresses at Target. Because yeah. Target is the new Disney store. It they is. made an agreement. And you'll see Disney products there. And we go there and we get little Disney dresses for like, I think they're like 20 bucks. They're really inexpensive. inexpensive. And that and Goodwill. We'll look at Goodwill. People are yeah. like, that's how it started. Now we have like 20 or 30 of those things. And so my daughter like, we'll lay them out. She's like, lay them on the floor, dad. And so she's like, <laughs> she's just like, mm, no, Moana. Oh, yeah, Tiana. And then she'll wear Tiana. And so she's like, are- she'll walk around. She's like, I'm Tiana. Or if we're watching a movie, she'll be like, I want to put that dress on. So it could be a long day when she wants to watch different <laughs> movies. Right now it's a James and the Giant Peach. Thank goodness we have no costumes for James and the Giant James Peach. James and the Giant Peach. Okay. My child is so interesting. Oh, like and so then, dark, weird. How about this? Alice through the looking glass. Yeah. She likes that one. She too. likes that one. We put on the first one. She's like, meh. She likes like the Tim Burton she like, likes, style. She's like, I love Dumbo. And I put on the card. She's like, no, other Dumbo. <laughs> like, the Tim Burton. Burton. I was like, my Burton. child likes Tim Burton. It's just That's so funny. I, it's not me. Yeah, I know. I don't get it, but it's like, this is cool. It's kind of cool to it's see fun. something organic. Like your kid with, like, the Dalmatians. Your your son loves Dalmatians. He does. He went to a birthday party. What did he get on his face? Like, oh, he, d- Dalmatian face. Face paint, right? Well, the funny thing was, is that we went to the party, and, like, the lady wasn't going to do it at first. And I go, can you do Dalmatian? And she she looked at me like, uh, no. And then she's like, no, I can do Dalmatian. Like, that's easy. Yeah. White dots done you know <laughs> and like oh yeah he loves it's it's crazy how much he loves yeah him. so I, you shop for your kids when you have kids and you know their interests you tend to look at because you want to see that yeah. like twinkle in their eyes yeah. like when bentley showed us like his his spider-man toy right he was like look at me i got this from mom and dad and it was like this is special yeah and i'm gonna share it to you and i thought that's cool like right it was fun to see it in your son and i'm like oh i can't wait till my kid does something like that yeah um peter what do you look at for the park (laughs) i this is the hardest question for (laughs) me to ever answer because i don't buy anything (laughs) no you don't don't. but you look at stuff but you look at what are things that you you gotta look at the art i look at at art yeah you know obviously i can't buy the art (laughs) there have been a couple pieces i will say that the my favorite thing i ever bought and this kind of goes back to our prior conversation about picking things that were attached to i bought this picture i bought it for my dad uh for father yodler it's a picture of um the hollywood tower hotel lobby and in the lobby are are little elements of different disney villains Villains. so like you have jafar's lamp or you'll have clayton's gun or you'll have a lucifer um, is that what it no not lucifer oh the bird from uh maleficent yeah the crow the crow the The crow uh, or you have the black cauldron, the black cauldrons in there, and like little things like that. But it's like it's, like, it's the cell. It was like yeah, and they used so, to sell those back in the day, right? And so like I saw that and I go, I want that. I got it from my dad, and like it's still probably my most favorite thing I've ever bought. It's one of my favorite pieces that they yeah. have in the house, and they have many pieces there. Yes. Um. So okay, so you're looking at I art. look at art, the the, the expensive stuff. There's like of the course. next tier stuff, and I kind of look at for that stuff from uh for mother and father yodler, right? Because like we got those little marionette like uh, yeah. dolls of Mickey and Minnie, and you know like you know something's rare because you can't wait on it, right? Yeah. And you have to make a decision, and it's the hardest decision to make where you know like I like it, I know who should go to. But am I willing to pay for it right now? Right. But then you have that gut, like, and this is where get, Disney gets you for the experience people, is that you know it's going to go away. Yep. Yep. And it'll never come back. And if it goes on eBay, it's six times more expensive. Yes. And then it's bitter when you look at it. My go-to shops at Disneyland are, is, is that the Disney Gallery? Yep. Yeah. Which gives me an excuse to go see Mr. Lincoln. I go, oh, <laughs> let's go take a look at the gallery. Well, while we're here... <laughs> You and got us wife, again, Dad. And my, That's my, my what wife, Dad did. my <laughs> wife rolls her eyes and she goes, "I'm just gonna sit here. Come, come around after the show." You're, you can't sit there. That's Walt's bench. <laughs> 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 I don't care. <laughs> um, and then off the page at DCA. Yeah. What's the one? Is that the one? That's in, at the animation. Animation. So that one is that next one's tier. Cool. I like that one more than I like um, the Disney one downtown. 
the, the, oh, oh, the, uh, the, uh, yes. the gallery. What's it called? The gal the, the, the picture shop. Yeah. Like there's the, the picture shop there. You'll see those at downtown and those are nice. And I go there, but I like, I like, it's better in the park. I don't know yeah. what it is. It is. Well, because they normally have a better presentation in the park. Ah, uh, and you're not fighting people like when you're downtown disney. downtown disney it's usually very crowded in there yes it's like you can't you can't really take your time to take a look at everything whereas at disneyland you can't because people are out doing attractions exactly and... yep whereas downtown disney everyone's there i always like looking at those uh the replicas with robert olazowski he's the one that does the 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 oh. scale of the, rides. of the rides oh yes everything. they don't he sell those anymore he doesn't make them anymore yeah disney has the molds for them but obviously i mean it, they only have so many that they have or they only made the the, the popular ones so you'll see right. like the main attraction i always was waiting for like when are you gonna one for the matterhorn or yeah. when are you gonna get one for like tower of terror oh, and like been awesome you know like i have mine right above us right here where it's a haunted, mansion. haunted mansion it's so cool like and, and the like, scenes yeah. that they put in there or even the scene boxes Yes. Like Jackie over on our, on the shelf over here has Mary Poppins. Yes. And ha and you click one of the leaves on the on the border and it, it, it would light up. And I love looking at those. Or they have little pill boxes, little stuff like that. It's art. And it's like it's gonna last forever. Right. Yeah. It's one of those things your kids will look at and they may, you know They're gonna be like they want I, it. When you die, I want that. <laughs> like when do you think of like dad's work desk? What do you think of? It's gold. What, what, what was the one thing that you could think? For me, I used to work with them. It's his Scrooge McDuck, you know, clock. Oh, his, oh yeah, I remember his Scrooge That's McDuck That's one of those things. There's things on desk that, like, oh, you'll yeah. always, like, eyes, like, oh. And Dad had that, like, one of the first things he bought at his work desk. And it was like, whoa, this is, like, the biggest Disney thing you ever bought. Like, it was, like, the first Disney store, you know, before they came out with the second one. Right. And, like, so, like, there's little stuff, like, that I like looking at that I know that will last a long time. It's good quality and it's not garbage. And that's that next tier stuff. I, I do look for that yeah. stuff. It's fun to look at like the next tier stuff, the more expensive things that are the model, like the figures and stuff. Um, like signs. Yeah. Like I've got a haunted mansion sign. Like it, it, signs it, are very popular and yeah. they're expensive, but you put them on your wall and like, they will catch someone's eye. Like, to see Always. a Haunted Mansion plaque on there, yes. like, it's just, it's like, boom, oh, that's Disneyland, and it's conversation It's, it's one of those, there's a website that replicas all of those disney signs and like it always catches my i always scroll through there and i'm like yeah i want that but then i go it's too much money yeah. <laughs> too much for something money. that's gonna sit on your wall and you're just gonna be like i'm am i thinking about the money or am i thinking about the right. actual like art itself well and that's what, another thing with disney is like they're great to like window shop yeah it's great to window shop it's at an attraction at the parks it's it is an attraction in yeah. itself. It's just a window shop. Because there was, like, when I went to the park with Mark for our first park time together. Mark. Yeah, park uh, with that's, Mark. That should be a, your own <laughs> side podcast. Park with Mark. <laughs> How resentful would it be if their podcast is more popular than ours? <laughs> <I know. laughs> be like, next on the Matter 100. Oh, you weren't here, Jackie? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing an episode about Waterboy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what did you do with Mark in the park? Yeah, so the first time we went to the park together, we you know we went to the the shops uh, at downtown Disney because we weren't going into the parks till the next day. And we would look around. And I'm like, oh, I like this. I like this. I like this. Do you stew on something? You like look at the stores yes. first, and then you stew on it while yeah, you're in I the do. parks. That's how I shop. I, I like to stew on it. If I'm still thinking about it, then I'll get Am it. Am I willing to dive into this collection? Yeah. And so, but early on, I was like, oh, I like this. And he's like, oh, are you going to get it? I'm like, no, I just like it. I don't have to buy it. I just Well, like he's trying it. to make mental we, notes, we, too, because. We grew up window shopping. We did. That's, like, we would go to the mall and not buy a single thing. We yeah. would just go to each store and just window shop. AC was so much better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we stood the AC at 85 so degrees. Like, <laughs> so, like, it was an adjustment for my wife when I would say, oh, I want to go, you know, walk down in the Emporium and look at the different. She's like, why? We're not buying anything. I still want to look. Yeah, it's fun. I want to walk what in. What are the, the trends? The, what what is important shop. to people? Yeah. I want to go look at the crystal shop. Look at all the crystal figurines and have the workers look at me with my giant backpack. <laughs> and Swing <I'm> around. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like a job. You feel like a bull in a, <laughs> in a China shop. Yeah, it's always like they always look at you with that giant backpack, and they're just like, "Please, 
please no. <laughs> <laughs> Flash bulb. And like, no! <laughs> um, my while we're talking about like fancy things, my wife checks. Uh, she collects Pandora charms. Yeah, and there are Disney exclusive this. park ones. And so when we go to the park each trip, she'll pick out one. So we have like one from our Disney World trip where it's the Epcot ball, and it's a charm and different things. Like we have the Ferris wheel from California Adventure, or something specific to Paris for the thirtieth. They're very unique, pretty charms. That you won't even see on eBay. The right. That's something where the collectors are like, too high of a risk. It's already overpriced right. mm-hmm. to where I can't make a profit if I sit on it. You know, so it's kind of nice to have those high end stuff where I know like it's here only and it's it's one of those conversational pieces. So yeah. I do look at those and it's fun to see the different collections that they do have there. And they're not just exclusive to the park. They do have the Pandora shop. And you can like shop from there, but they have park exclusive ones, and that's fun to look at. Park exclusive merchandise. Yeah, I think for me, when I go to the parks and what I'm looking at, I'm looking at anything that's Mary Poppins because it's rare to find. It's fun to hunt it. It's fun to hunt. Peter has something like that. You were doing this weekend. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I went to Comic Con, uh, our local Comic Fan Fusion. Yeah. Fan Fusion. Can't say Comic Con. <laughs> San Diego, trademarked. <laughs> San Diego will see you for that one. Um, no, come uh, at me, bro. I don't got any money. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, I went there, and uh, you know, I always stopped at any of the 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 stalls that had pins, um, especially Disney pins, to see if they have. Because if you've listened to prior episodes, you guys might know I have a Walt Disney pin collection, pins that have Walt Disney on them. So I go through and see if anyone's selling any not just the words but actual pictures actual of walt disney correct and so uh for example uh i i had to decide uh no on a certain pin there was actually two of them two different ones um i had decided no for two reasons because one it wasn't a picture it was a quote oh and two the guy was asking fifty dollars per pin oh man so i was all like no <laughs> <laughs> that seems a little like greedy i'll i'll go with like i'll go as high as 10 per but 50 ooh, i'm not ready no to drop way. 100 bucks on the, on a tiny pin that's as big as smaller than my that phone. just has a quote on it That just has walt's quote on it i'm like yeah hey, I, I have to justify making it fit my collection then it's not worth it yeah and it's not like you know all the walt disney pins and that you're hunting them you're very organic with it yes and like we we will help each other as a family yeah like we'll ask for pictures like hey what are peter's pictures for his his pins pin. and you know because you've got them in a nice case at home at your I home do. and so it's fun to help each other with these collections yes. knowing that jackie likes mary poppins I look for Mary Poppins stuff. Mm-hmm. And we, I imagine we, my family sees Haunted Mansion one. stuff. I get too. Yeah. We found one. Yeah, a at, pin. At, we did find a pin at Comic Con that was Mary yes. Poppins that we didn't think you had. So It looked not it, did, it wasn't. It wasn't the nicest pin. It looked kind of fake. It looked like Bari Poppins. It was kind of <laughs> like he had a beard and a mustache. You're like, oh my gosh, is that Mary? It was a picture of <laughs> Scary Mary. Mary Poppins' um, windmobile. Okay. That they have at the UK Pavilion. Yeah. So. Yeah, but um, yeah, so I'll look for anything like Mary Poppins. Um, I will look at like ornaments. Ooh, the, yeah, we do look at the ornaments. ornaments, is, ornaments we just look at the fun. old Disney store or the ones that just go, shut down. Go to Hallmark. Go to the Hallmark store. Do the Hallmark for that, yeah. I'm very particular with my ornaments. Like They jack them up. Some of them are cheaply made. You have to be very yeah. careful with what you buy. I don't like to do like the full on like figurines, like the plastic ones. Like I like it's the, like ceramic. Yeah, I like the more quality. You have ornaments. to eyeball them because there's some like I had a Merlin one that I hunted down because they kept getting paint on his blue suit. I was going to for Father Yoder. Yeah, he was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, because I know Father Yoder, he likes Merlin. Yeah. Uh, you get you get attached to, like, rare things. Like, I like Luvid Von Drick. Yeah. I don't yeah. have any of his merchandise, but I look for his stuff because I know it's such an obscure character right. from, like, the 50s and 60s that I, I like to, like, see if they'll come out with. Yeah, or nice. you'll appreciate, like, characters that you're like, well, that's super rare. Yeah. Treasure Planet? Yeah. <laughs> 
And you're seeing a lot more of that. Yes. Lunchbox. Lunchbox. They're huge with that now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I am. I do look at ears, Minnie Mouse ears. you got a great collection. I Yes. And I'm very particular with my collection. So it's not like a, I want them all. It's no. Just like... It's a, uh, there's. I don't like the cheap ones. I don't like the plastic ones. I generally like the ones that look a little nicer quality. Should go for an upgrade. Like yeah. maybe they're like seasonal. Like they've kind of taken over the uh, the the Mickey hat. They've and I've seen that Disney's like even in like Japan the guys will wear it. Yeah, over that they'll wear the yeah. headband. They're like that's a girl hat, and they're like nope. In Japan, it's, it's perfectly normal. normal for everyone to wear. You know, and, it's like, okay, cool. Um. And I've seen this lately since I've like started picking up because it, it didn't start until I worked at the parks because mm-hmm. I would get them like really cheap at Cast Connections, um, <laughs> and um, but and the hidden mixies and like they like the fans. There's like so oh, many yeah. of those lost and sunglasses. Um, but uh, I no. Anytime I go to the park, I usually will li- only limit myself to one ear a trip um but if i don't see any i don't like then i won't get any but uh as i've seen like the trend of the mini mouse ears grow i mean it's huge now at the parks um the quality has gone way down that's yes. what i hate when you find something really cool and then like disney's like we can make lots of money from this and then they make poor they quality. jack it up and then they charge twice the amount, and you're just like, oh, you're ruining it. You're so, killing me, Petey. You're so killing me. Th- that is a trend that I have. I do look out, but I'm more picky because I am stepping, I think I'm stepping away from it. Yeah. Um, it's become too mainstream. No, I, think I don't think just, it was ever in the mainstream. It was like, it's the quality for you, it's, it sounds like. It's, yes. I'm very particular with quality because if I'm going to spend money on this, and it's... So you don't like, want to have resentment towards the price and the quality. Yeah. I get it. And that's something you really have to take into consideration when you're buying somewhere. If you look at a piece of something and you just think of the price. It's not worth you it. You shouldn't have it. Yeah. Or are you going to like make everyone's life around you miserable for having it? Don't get it. Yeah. It's supposed to bring joy. It's yep. supposed to bring people together, mm-hmm. an expression of your personality or your family's personality. That's that's where I think it should be. Yeah. Is um, there something you guys are looking for currently? Like like something specific. Like so when you go look on eBay or So my look- wife, for example, she likes getting the subtle Disney things. Oh yeah. So it's oh, yeah. so like the home decor that's yes. like it's clearly Disney. If you stare at it, it's Disney. It's Disney. You're but like ruggable. It's not- but yeah, it we've got a run It doesn't there. like you don't walk in the room and you're like, oh my gosh, they love Disney. <laughs> right. <laughs> Correct. You have to sit there and, and like really look and like, oh, there's hidden Mickey's in your carpet. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Or that picture frame has all the Disney characters. I didn't even see that because it's all white with the characters in it, so it's not as noticeable. You know, little things like that. So like my wife likes the subtle Disney. When it comes to Christmas, she's a little bit more blatant with the Disney decorations. That's that's when she goes like, "This is a Disney house." But throughout the year, it's subtle Disney. Yeah. We we do buy a Disney ornament for each person in the family to kind of. So we do we do that, but we shop online Disney online for that. Right. We yeah. kind of at the mercy of like whatever they give us because we don't go to the parks, you know, as often as others to go be able to hand pick which right. one. Right. Um. Yeah, and I think you just, I think for any of us, we always keep an eye out for something that's just unique. Um, I'm looking for the Haunted Mansion clock. It's about like... Of the 13. The 13 with the spinning fingers that keep going. And they sold it like five, six years ago. They did. And it was like, I'd say like 12, 13 years ago. It was just like a mantelpiece, Yeah. right? And I saw it on like offer up for like 75 bucks. And I was like, I don't know. And then it went away like that. And I was like... I knew it. I wanted it, and I hesitated, and I keep looking for the last three years, and it's still like no one. And I'm like, man, it just went on those sites. Check Goodwill.com. No. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do. I search like Disney stuff and Haunted Mansion stuff, and you know, it sucks when you're like, I don't it's know. It's hard because you Haunted po- Mansion is so popular and people love it. They're keeping it. Yes, and it's hard well, when you have. It those might niches. it might make a re uh, re 
emergence here with the movie coming out so. yeah and that's what i'm hoping and hopefully it's it's closer to the ride than it is to the movie because right what if i don't like the movie right yeah. i don't want that stuff and it's hard because like with me with mary poppins i like the og mary poppins not not the, emily blunt not emily blunt well the thing is you're gonna see more emily blunt because disney owns the merchandising rights to that Mary Poppins. Yeah. It's not yeah. the Julie Andrews. The only one that they really do is the Jolly Holiday Mary. Yeah. And that's why you see that more sort of, of that. You see more of that in the park than you do the uh uh carpet bag Mary Poppins. Yeah. And that's my favorite image of Mary Poppins is the carpet bag. Um but yeah. Um I, at one point I did get into like spirit jerseys, but I, I never but it out. went too crazy. I was like, no, nope, this is too much. I never much. got into that. I got into Vinyl Mations. Oh, I collected the Park series. I collected the first and the second. No, second and third series. And it's it stinks when you like when that first series comes out of something new. And then it, they go away. And then they just and it becomes popular. It goes extinct. So if you think you're going to like something and it's the first series, buy it. Hold on to it, I think. And just see... Where it goes. Where it goes, because you could make a lot of money off it. Those vinyl mations just go between like five hundred to like two thousand for the super rare, the big ones. Man, that was nuts how those now they're like you'll find them at Goodwill and stuff like that. But the fad has faded. The yeah, pops took over. So you, when you're getting into a fad and you see it's the first series and you like it, buy in. You know, even if you don't like if, you if you're like unsure, it, yes. if you like it. You have to like what you're collecting. And right. I think Father Yoder said that last time in the yeah. collectibles series. Right. Um, yeah. What are maybe some uh, merchandise that you've seen at the parks that you're like, Wah. other than popcorn buckets? Just like I think anything it's, plastic is it's, just it's, garbage. So, so plastic this, with stickers is a sure sign that <laughs> it'll be in the garbage or a Goodwill within like six months right so like i had like i had like an office party at work one time and they were doing you know white elephant or whatever and so like someone picked out it's so all like hey just want to let you know but this present is disney themed <laughs> <laughs> and so somebody else opened it up and they're like but I hadn't gone yet, so I could have stolen it. Did I steal it? Mm-hmm. No, because it was cheap. Garbage. Garbage. And she goes, oh, I picked that because I thought you it was Disney and you might like it. It says, that's not the stuff that I like. That looks like. I like the nice <laughs> things. Somehow a monocle ended up on your yeah, eye. And then your other piggy because, went out and your little like I, red cup. I had another coworker. She was going through her attic and she found some old merchandise from the 70s oh, and i was good. all like yeah sure is <laughs> you it see worth my anything? eyes like yeah. no it's really not worth it i've got like this old tin uh lunch box but that it's she cool gave. looking but it's cool it's it's vintage it's old like it's I'm got like, patina this... on it for like aging right and so i was like oh that's really cool so like i've held on to that but like you know there's some stuff it's just all like i can tell that was dirt cheap and utter garbage and it's going to end in my, in my garbage it is fun to hunt for disney stuff like plushes at goodwill and i was talking to you guys about this where i found a maleficent like plush and i was like i've never seen this plush in like the 25 years and i looked at the tag and i was like whoa this is like a 80s like oh. nice and now i'm thinking about it as i was like holding it, i was like oh i should have gotten it. it's only like two dollars but i'm all like i don't want to like eh. what's it like my daughter's got like probably 30 plushes for right. all the goodwill runs and i'm like well, I, don't, I don't know but now i'm thinking i was like man that tag was different it was like something like from the 80s and i'm just like oh man and and that's something that i think disney learned with the walt disney world vault collection for their 50th anniversary yep. is that they were selling old merchandise mm-hmm. that they used to sell in the different anniversaries so like when they when the 50th anniversary first started they were selling like old flag pendants and things like garbage that. garbage can shake i like little uh salt shakers yeah, yeah like <laughs> old you know you know shirts with the old park yes. maps on them that was crazy popular like the disney fans went for that stuff and i wish they do more of it i more hope vintage. they take that and run with it. Peter's old school. Vintage. He wants the he wants those Epcot no, shirts. I 
I think I see, I you know, I've seen a lot more vintage style shirts that they try to promote and like put out there because there is definitely that market that people just lean towards. Yeah, I avoid anything with like the Fab Five on it. Same. I, anything Years. with Same. anything with a year on Years. it. Yeah. No, thank you. Pass. Anything and, with and like I, it's the fortieth anniversary and it's all like it's garbage. I don't want it. I don't. No. I've heard some people defend the except year for the Paris thing. one. I was there and I was like, oh, that's cool. They actually, I know I'm only gonna be here for this one time. I've heard the people with the 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 defend the year thing. They go, well, if you only go that one time, that one time. It makes sense. And that's where I am with the Paris trip where I was like. But because we go to Disneyland so often, it's not going to be memorable for us to be like, I went to Disneyland in 19... We did that with the magnets. Where we had like the 2012 and 20... That was kind of fun. So we like to get pins that represent like the trip or if it has the year. So like when we went to Disney World, we got like a 50th anniversary pin. Um, or like, uh, when we went to California Adventure, um, it was like the 20th anniversary. We so got you're that. fine with the anniversary marking a, a point for that trip yes. and to be able to remember it for that. Yeah. Okay. Um, but just for like smaller items. Like t-shirts and like cups Mark, and stuff. You're like, Mark no, is a big you. t-shirt person. So he'll gravitate more for the t-shirts, but he's more tasteful. It's not like the the bold, like, 2015, and it's like the Fab Five, like, spilling out of it, you right. know? It's the more unique, like, fun-looking um, style shirts. But, yeah, um, for pins, that's what we'll look for is, like, maybe a year if we like the pin mm-hmm. or an anniversary um here's one that i know is very popular maybe not necessarily amongst us because we don't drink coffee but mugs Mugs. oh have you not seen my house i have (laughs) well i have like i was gonna just mention it i've got about like you are here series you can only get them at the location right i mean you could buy them on ebay but when we went throughout europe um we would get them we would purposely go find them and so when we're in paris or disneyland we would go to the starbucks to find it right yeah i've got a whole bunch and some are so rare where you're just like i'll never get it and like you find on ebay and they're like a hundred dollars for a mug and again like ugh, can't yeah do mugs are huge and Big. popular they're pretty the they're mugs really and they're cool. great quality i have a couple of cool mugs like i have got yeah. one of like the castle we've and got, i like yeah we've got several eventually me and my wife were like we never use these mugs no never they oh, just i use mine there. all the time they're, they're, they'll last forever yeah. they're strong oh yeah they are they're great solid mugs but... i use them as like pencil holders <laughs> some of those decorative mugs i do because you've yeah. given me that i've gotten like a haunted mansion one yeah and stuff like i've that. got I, there's like a couple that i've held on to because they've got walt on them so yeah um okay um any other merchandise stuff that you guys like that we haven't talked about uh, books. Oh, books. I, you know, Father Yoder, I just like to see what he may collect or what they're selling. Right. And I have my own book collections that I collect, uh, like with Indiana Jones. Um, this is not necessarily sold in the parks or anything, but I do search on eBay. Like, I like collecting all the Indiana Jones books for just the story. Yeah. I like to know where his adventures are, where he's going on the map. And so there's some books out there that are super rare, and they're like... It's a book from the 80s, and it's written by, like, R.L. Stein, and the book is, like, $200. Wow. And, like, it'll, every time, it goes, and I'm just waiting for the one dummy that's all, like, 99 cents, <laughs> and I'll be, like, I'll give you $50 for it. <laughs> right. <laughs> just take it down now. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I, I think the most I spent on one, and it's, like, it's only, like, 50 pages. I spent, like, 80 bucks on it. Wow. And it's, like, it's, it's plastic wrapped and there's just certain books that are just they're just rare or they're hard covers that they weren't popular but if mm-hmm. you're collecting them they're just they're just more difficult to find oh yeah yeah and so yeah if you have any doubts if you think you're gonna collect them just buy it even if it's not something your favorite and be okay to let it go when and you're yeah. done if yeah. you want to know more about like the book collecting go back to one of our older episodes like our collections episode father yoda has an amazing uh disney book collection yes. where he talks extensively about that as well as we have a another guest on there talking about his star wars toy collection oh yeah, yeah. you know loggy oggy yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> um 
Now, Disney removed their Disney stores. The yeah. physical locations the physical in the mall. Physical locations. Do you miss it? I do. Not, not, not the new ones. I miss the 90s yeah. version. Where they actually had artwork and like special artwork. things. They had snow globes. They had like cool stuff. <laughs> you don't see snow globes anymore. No. Well, that's, that's because of 9-11. Oh, really? Yeah. What? Since 9-11... That's when all the rules at the airports changed. You can't bring liquids. And so people would normally buy snow globes as souvenirs. But they can't. They can't take it on the airplane with them. And that's what killed the snow globe. Wow. Yeah, I never realized that. That's such a weird indirect effect. Right. I never realized that, but it makes sense. We weren't snow globe people. We weren't. But they were cool to look at at the store. Yeah, that's where your mom and dad are like, don't touch it. (laughs) <laughs> no. I gotta break it. I don't want to buy something stupid like that. Yeah. No, I... it's snowing, mom. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm making a weird like kid like. <laughs> Where your kids like, don't touch that. I don't want to buy it. Um. Yeah, I miss the stores. Um. I wish they will bring it back and maybe. It's up- a toy store. The They're quality. super rare yeah. for a toy store. We grew up going to toy stores. Our generation doesn't have that. They don't. They or, or not just our, our kids' generation. They got Target at Walmart. That's what they got. Yeah. And I don't think they'll ever come back because... Why? It's an online yeah. world. Yeah. Brick and mortars kind of falling apart. Yeah. And malls are a dying breed, too. They it's are. very expensive. Um, it always surprised me going, that's still a thing? Like, that's still here? I'm surprised. But, yeah, it's. I think that's just too expensive. Yeah. And they made a deal with Target. It's there. Yep. And they, they do a good job. Like, we go there and we buy our Disney stuff there. Man, this is a kind of a side note about when they announced the Target thing. Out of everything they announced at that panel, the Target thing got the most applause for the dog. The Target dog came out. Oh, and sure. that got the biggest <laughs> applause during the parks panel was the the Target dog came out. It's because out. no one believes <laughs> Anything that the park people are saying, they're like, they're like seventy five percent of this is gonna get canned. And this was Bob Chapek hosting it too, and he's like, "Yeah, we got some made a big deal with Target. You can (laughs) buy Disney stuff at Target, like we've always been able to." Yeah. He's like, "But Mar, (laughs) what? Bob's excited about selling stuff." (laughs) Um, I think it was a good move. Yeah. You get everything you really want there. It's true. In the end, that store was just selling plushies and they had like the occasional like limited edition barbie doll where they'd have a line going around the oh, corner one yeah and it's a beautiful doll it is it's, it's a beautiful fantastic. piece of art and you have to display it you know yeah uh but it was kind of like the shoe culture like you have the super fans that were willing to wait for a limited edition thing and it was fun to look at it but yeah i i look on disney online and i i shop that for the limited edition stuff i just look at the you know what's new and what what they feel is gonna sell. Yeah, I think there's so much variety with Disney merchandise, and it's just like just because we're Disney fans doesn't mean we like everything. Um, so true. I'll be like, Disney. nah, that's garbage. Yeah, and they're all hurt. Yeah, like, I don't want that. Like I know a lot of Disney fans, they love the tiki culture. And, yeah, and love the Adventureland Bazaar and all this stuff. I rarely ever go in there. I actually wear. Hawaiian shirts to work. It's my payday shirt. Yeah, there you go. And everyone just knows they they recognize like love this shirt. Now I know payday. And they're like payday. <laughs> Other people are wearing Hawaiian shirts. I, I saw somebody else oh, at yeah? work doing it, and like I got my group to all wear. I have one guy. He's like I'm not wearing a Hawaiian shirt, and he was wearing a map, and there's Hawaii on there. It's like what's that? That's Hawaii. <laughs> Therefore, ergo, it is a Hawaiian Much. shirt. And he's like never again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but with that, there's so much merchandise and so fun to look at. So just let us know what are your favorites. What are things you look like? What do you hunt for? Yeah, I know a lot of people are pin collectors. I look for Thrawn stuff. Super fan. I know. Shocker. I know. Yeah. <laughs> You're like Thrawn quotes. I don't even know who this character is. He's blue. Right. And and, and Jafid loves him. That's oh, it. Mark just got a minifigure of Thrawn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta look. I gotta <laughs> yeah, see you gotta is. see it. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments on what are your some of your favorite things that you like to get. It could be small. It could be big. Uh, let us know. Are you the guy that bought the uh, spare Dumbo ride vehicle <laughs> yes. at auction? <laughs> John be- Stamos. That was <laughs> listening. John Stamos. <laughs> He's like, yes, Peter. I am. 
And he's like, I remember your brother at the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Don't talk to me, bro. <laughs> I remember, John. You were not very nice. I wasn't even trying to be your friend. I was just trying to be nice. I did love his show. I'm sorry it got canceled. Yeah. But um, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can email us at matterhornyodlers at gmail.com. Make sure you like and follow us. Give us a good rating. This it only takes two seconds. Yeah. Do, us, um, do it as you're listening to us right now. Just go there. Five stars. Just or like it. Leave a quick yeah. like. Hey, these guys are awesome. Let me check if I've done it. Yeah, it just it helps. <laughs> it helps us in the long run. Um, it helps us be n- more noticeable to other uh, listeners. And you can also just sh- share our podcast by word of mouth um, to any big fans. But with that being said, have a magical day. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of the Matterhorn Yodelers. Please remember, before your bobsled comes to a complete stop, to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And remember... Remain seated, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor. <laughs>